Two semi-drivers walked away from a wrong-way collision on an interstate highway. Wreck closed down northbound I-35 near Guthrie for hours yesterday. As that black smoke was billowing from the scene, you can see. OHP says a semi-driver passed out at the wheel after a medical emergency, crossing into oncoming traffic and hit another semi nearly head-on. Neither driver suffered significant injuries, though one was sent to a hospital as a precaution. Very surprised that both drivers were going to be okay because the, the, the scene looked a lot worse than, than what it turned out to be. Again, no significant injuries, though one driver did go to a hospital again as a precaution. A man assaulted inside a local strip club. It happened around 2 a.m. yesterday at the Whispers Gentlemen's Club in Valley Brook. That's near Southeast 59th and Eastern. Told a man was found injured and unresponsive in a bathroom after a possible fight with another man. The victim was taken to a hospital. We're told that person's in critical condition. No word on any arrest. Tougher talk on immigration and deportation as Oklahoma City's immigrant community feeling afraid. A couple of days ago, Latinos from across the state packed into U.S. Grand Auditorium to hear from a panel, including immigration attorneys, police officers, and the Chamber of Commerce. They took questions from the crowd and did their best to put them at ease in the face of stricter immigration policies. It's good for information, but it's just also good for mental health. Everybody kind of needs to look at each other, smile at each other, nod at each other, hug each other, and know, yes, we're in this together and we're going to make it through. One of the most common questions Oklahoma City police receive is whether we're a so-called sanctuary city that protects illegal immigrants. The answer is no. Police have told us in the past they will help federal authorities when asked, but they do not have arrest powers on immigration issues. but it's just also good for mental health. Everybody kind of needs to look at each other, smile at each other, nod at each other, hug each other, and know, yes, we're in this together, and we're going to make it through. One of the most common questions Oklahoma City police receive is whether we're a so-called sanctuary city that protects illegal immigrants. The answer is no. Police have told us in the past they will help federal authorities when asked, but they do not have arrest powers on immigration issues. Twelve Hispanic restaurant workers fired for taking the day off to reserve National Day without immigrants. They worked at the I Don't Care Bar and Grill in Catoosa. They said they'd been working in the kitchen and the restaurant for at least two years. They asked us to not show their faces. The group willingly chose to stay home with others across the country supporting a day without immigrants. Well, the owner fired them by text message. Despite the shock of being fired, the employees say they're not mad. They expected a possible reprimand. They did not expect to get fired, however. They feel like he could have done something for them since they've been working for him. That was their worry to show that they are needed in the community. Restaurant owner gave us a written statement saying he has zero tolerance policy for no show, no call incidents, and the 12 employees violated that policy. Restaurant is now looking for replacement workers. In the meantime, this group says that they're moving on to other jobs. Be on guard, Grant.